right, move guys. my stuff. You know I do a lot of home remodels and renovation projects, but there is one place I do not like to go, and that's the crawl space. And that's why I'm so glad I found Wyatt with Beatles so they can do all of this for me. I cannot tell you how happy I am I found Wyatt McAfee of Beatles because I'm telling you, all the renovations I've done, I had no idea that mold was such a problem in Missouri. Jeremy, the, uh, the climate and building construction that we primarily see here in Southwest Missouri is extremely conducive to mold growth. Uh, you know, with our high humidities in the summers and crawl spaces being the standard method of construction, uh, mold has the perfect place to live on, in almost any home. Right, and I know there are varying types of mold, like the one you hear on TV that kind of scares people is like, you're black mold and it's going to kill your family. It's, it's really scary thought because it is dangerous, but what should somebody do if they think they have mold? So I would encourage anybody who thinks that they have a mold problem to reach out to my company. We provide free estimates. We'll come out, take a look, uh, tell you how bad your mold problem is. If you're extremely concerned about what type of mold might be present, uh, an environmental specialist can be called in to do specific testing. Um, that being said, I will say that while mold in and of itself is a scary word, uh, it is something that can be fixed, uh, it can be prevented, and it is not necessarily going to uh, cause harm to your family. So our main concern is to make sure that you're taken care of and that you're safe. Right. You see, if you think you have it, you need to get taken care Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Now, when, you, when you're talking about mold, like, I'll be honest, I do a lot of home renovation stuff, but mold is something I don't want to even tackle because I don't even know if it's like, okay, does mold start out green and then it gets black? Is there, are there stages of mold? So, uh, science says that there are somewhere between 70 to 100,000 different strains of mold. Uh, when you're looking at mold, it could be anything from a couple of black specks to, you know, big green, black, white splotches. Um, it's really hard to say. The, the color, the uh, way that it grows are not necessarily uh, indicative as to the type of mold that it is. Instead, it needs to be sent, samples need to be sent off to a lab to be studied. Is it, is it true too that, you know, it's the, the water areas, let's say, you have the crawl space, and it's, mm -hmm. is it under the kitchen, under the bathrooms that are most prevalent to have the mold? In your typical house, yes. Uh, in the average house in America, you produce on average three gallons of relative humidity inside of your home per day. Wow. Um, you know, that's what showers, bathrooms, kitchens, all those sorts of things. The main concern is is that there are a lot of other ways water can get into your crawl space. Yeah. You know, initially, you might think, okay, I have a leaking pipe which would cause you know, wherever that pipe is leaking to be the worst spot. Um, that being said, uh, the average crawl space is just dirt. Yeah. And so when we have you know, those awesome spring floods that Missouri likes to throw our way. Gosh, we have them a lot. We do. Um, the first thing that happens is that water wants to find a way into your crawl space, and it does. And it does, yeah. And a lot of people don't spend the time checking. They don't you know, just go take a look. And so a problem that could be easily avoided turns into something that is you know, monumental because of the fact that it's out of sight, out of mind. Right. And that's the whole thing, too, because I'm with you guys. I'm with you. I don't like crawl spaces. I don't like getting under there. If you could just take a peek, see what, just get a, you know, an idea and then call Beatles because then they can come and, and do it for you because I don't want to be under there all day long looking for that. If somebody wants more information, maybe book a consultation, an estimate mm -hmm. to see what kind of damage they might have in their crawl space, what is the best way to get in touch with you? I would encourage them to go out to our website. Uh, a lot of information about you know, what we do and what services we can provide is listed there. Uh, from there, you know, we provide free estimates. You can either submit a request for an estimate online or give us a call. Seriously, call them, guys. I know it. You don't want to get under there. I don't want to. Call Beatles. Thank you so much, Wyatt. Yes, sir. You're very brave, though. I am so glad I met Wyatt and, and Beatles, and I found them because I will use them now forever because I don't. Yeah. I have a severe claustrophobic issues. Right. I was proud of myself for getting under there. I'm very proud of you for doing that. And something else I learned from Wyatt too on those um, protective masks, mm -hmm. the gas masks, the discs were pink. Every color disc is different to what it protects from, and ah. the pink is for mold, and that will help filter out the mold, because I, I was in a crawl space with black mold, so that's Gosh, dangerous. That, and so you know that those really work, because yes. they would never put you in that so situation. So he attached those, and you have different color discs mm -hmm. for different things, for different kind of uh, things you might get exposed to. So I, I learned a lot from Wyatt. We crawled under there, found the black mold. He was yeah. short pointing out different things that beetles can help, not just with the mold, but with the foundation. And if, if things are going wrong when you're buying a house, 
They're right. the one-stop shop right. to get it taken care of, so it passes inspection, yeah. and you get those things fixed. Yeah. And I had a great time, and I conquered a fear. And that is wonderful. And but that is something. So if you are buying a house, that is one of the things that they check for in, yeah. in an inspection. Is that correct? Yes. And you need to make sure that is fixed because that will come up on an inspection report. Well, yeah. And not to mention, uh, it's very dangerous for your health. It can mm -hmm. cause all kinds of problems. So uh, really good to get that ruled out. And I'm excited too because coming up uh, either next week or in a few weeks. We're also talking about water damage to your house uh -huh. and how they can help with water restoration because you know Missouri loves to flood. Yes, Missouri yes. loves to flood, and it yeah. does. I've had so many homes flood, and it's you need to get that problem taken care of too because you might not know what's going on under your floor, uh -huh. and then going into the crawl space or fixing those floors and finding leaky pipes yeah. that you may not know you have. Yeah, and it just kind of builds, and if you don't address it, mm -hmm. it turns into a huge, expensive problem. Yeah. So it's good to find it now. And again, if you've got something under there and you don't know it, you're going to look. It's not, it's not a good idea to get under there yourself because you do need that protective yes. uh, filter to keep you from those things. So just call the professionals. That's what I'm going to do just from now on. Just call the professionals. I mean, you know, Jeremy doesn't want to get under there. And I, I did it for you. I don't think you can you. pay him enough Guys, to do that. I did it for you. I care. Everything I do, I do, do it, it for, for you. you. Okay. <laughs> good job, Jeremy. I'm proud of you.